Hello crafties. It's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Here's my husband Ernie and we are going to be doing some renovations to my RV. First is going to be re taking out the microwave because I want to replace it with a convection microwave. We have one in mind but he's got to do some measurements. I'll show you a picture of what we have in mind. Okay, Ernie, are you ready to do the measurements? Yeah. Welcome to my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I'm a retired, part-time solo traveler. I love to camp and travel. I travel with my little schnauzer Snickers in my Mini Winnie, and I tow my Honda. We love to go to the desert in the winter, the mountains in the summer, and the seashore whenever we can. I enjoy doing sewing crafts and making quilts. I also go to retreats and quilt shows. I also like to paint and sometimes I show these on my videos. I'm a Harvest Host and Boondocker Welcome member. Come along and watch our adventures and see where we go. Give me a thumbs up comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe, and thanks for watching. Now, you might be asking, well, Lonnie, you have a stovetop and an oven. Yes, I do. And if I have a convection microwave, I won't need the oven, but it's all attached in one. I have not used this oven at all myself because I can't get down low enough to light the pilot and it does not have an automatic pilot lighter. So, this will be another project for the future. But today, we're just dealing with the microwave. Okay, you want to say anything first? Well, first thing I need to look at is the new flange area for the microwave is bigger than what's there. I want to make sure that there's enough clearance all the way around when it goes in. And then we're going to remove the microwave and look at altering the frame inside. And one of the things I want to do in precaution is I want to measure and get some thermal blanket uh, material, the same stuff that you use in automotive to protect your, the heat from your muffler or exhaust because it's going to be a little bit tighter in there, and I want to protect the walls from the heat that comes off the new unit. Okay. All right, Ernie, tell me what you're doing. Okay, I'm looking at how much bigger the new flange is going to be compared to the old one. And there's enough width, it'll be tight, and it'll probably come a little bit closer to this panel but we should be all right. So there's enough clearance on the width. And we'll be fine on the height. I just want the old flange. The old flange is 20 and a half by 14 and 3 quarters. So now to move, remove the microwave, it's just a matter of taking out the four screws. got it out but it looks like the cord goes through the wall back there it's not just a plug does that mean it's wired into it no there's probably a plug on the other side well we found the plug it's in this cabinet back here so Ernie can reach it 
get it unplugged. There it is. Now we should be able to pull it through. All right, we got the uh, plug undone and the microwave is out. Sitting on my stove on the cutting board so it doesn't hurt anything. I so he's looking inside the cabinet now, all the hoses and wires and things, and seeing if he can kind of push things up out of the way because the new microwave convection oven may need a little more room. I'm looking to see how far these junction blocks can be moved. I'm loosening them up. So there were actually five screws for anchoring the, the back plate the back plate And taking off the back plate is going to give more room. Well, I need to remove it so that I can look at this baffle. That will probably have to be removed also. So, well, show me the bracket. Okay, so that's the bracket on the left side. Do you have to take the right one off too? Yeah, because the clearance needed to get the face of the unit in. That's the second bracket. Do those go back in later, you think, Ernie? Oh, yeah. They'll just be mounted higher. Now what is that you're working on? This was a backstop for the back of the microwave. Oh, okay. And that might have to go in back farther, or not at all? Uh, probably farther and higher. And then route the wires that are loose enough to over the top to keep them off the microwave. Okay, there's the back. So he's measuring and making a mark where the height height of the I'm gonna measure how much thermal material to order. 16 by 15. Yeah. What's that called? It's a luminized adhesive heat shield. Okay. And then I'm going to put it on the outside of the baffle on the top to shoot the hot air forward so, so that it comes out the vent. Yeah, some is going to have to come off the top about an inch. will have to be shaved off the top because it sits a little bit higher with the heat baffles. Get a clear line, measure it. And the measurements will be taken off of the unit when it gets here. Mm -hmm. All right, the microwave is out. And he's got all the measurements he needs. So now I can order the microwave. Go for it. Yay! What I made was a mock-up of the full size of the profile of the convection microwave so that I would know where I would move my wires to and set my clearances inside of the cavity for it. 
as you see, I've taken and outlined the back where it's going to be, and that allowed me to set my safe areas for moving all of the wires out of the way. This side is a cold side. I've tested the micro, the convection microwave outside, and this side does not get hot. It's still going to get a little heat shield, and I'll still maybe tack down this one wire. But otherwise, all the wires are more than an inch away from the back edge of the microwave. There's a faint line on the edge here. This is where I'm going to have to remove material about an inch at the top and about a quarter of an inch on the side in order to get a clearance to slide the unit in. The flange will cover beyond that. So that will cover any hole. Wait. The new flange over the edge of the microwave will cover any new holes made by the saw. This is a application of a stick-on aluminum heat shield, the same stuff that you wrap mufflers in. So Wonder it's different than Reflectix. Oh yeah, no, no. This is 2,000 degree rated. Okay. And uh, it sticks, and I wrapped it around all the way around the back where it's going to cover the wires. This side of the unit does not get hot, so I'm not too concerned about that. And this is elevated several inches above the top. But I put all the way higher than the back of the uh, unit. Today we're going to shave off the amount of wood that will then allow the new microwave convection oven to fit. It's just a matter of having measured it from the measurements that are given by the manufacturer and drawing the appropriate lines in the right place. The tape is put on the outside to cut down on the amount of chipping that will happen during the cutting process. That way it'll be a cleaner cut. It's going to be noisy because of the saw and the vacuum, but I'll probably edit that out. <laughs>
puppy in place and then we'll be able to finish the trim around it and we'll be good to go. So what do you want me to do? You're going to be pulling on this hose which is going to keep tension on the cord in the back so it doesn't get bound up on anything and eventually get it through the hole to where the plug is on the inside. Okay, so you've taped that hose on the plug so it can be manipulated. Right. Okay. And then it'll get through there. Yeah, the plug is back in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pull on this thing. Not yet. Okay, tell me when. Okay, now. There. Side. Okay, we got it in and we got the plug through the opening. It's not plugged in yet. And Ernie says it's going to sit proud about an inch. Three quarters of an inch to an inch. But you're going to put spacers in there? Yeah. And then he's going to screw it down and I will have my convection microwave. It's a high point. We got it uh, through Rec Pro. I'll put the information below. Well, my convection microwave is in. Yay! It's a high point convection microwave for RVs. I bought it on Rec Pro. And uh, Ernie was had to modify the opening a little bit, but it's in. Now I can start cooking. You probably saw or noticed that I do have a gas stove top and oven in the RV. Well, I've never used that oven by myself because I can't get down and turn the pilot on. Either Ernie has done it or I had a girlfriend do it one time at a camp out. So I have not been able to use the oven. I do use the stove occasionally. But most of the time, I'm using uh, an electric kettle, or I just put things in the microwave, and if I'm not hooked up, I put the generator on. Part of my plan for upgrading my RV is to upgrade the solar. I want to get at least one more panel on top. I have 190 watts now, and I want to put a, at least a 2,000-watt inverter in. And then I could actually run the microwave um, or the convection oven uh, on battery power. The oven is of a 1500 watt, so I will need uh, a larger inverter. And if I still need the power, more power, I will uh, turn the generator on or I'll be hooked up to power to use it. All right. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was informative, give me that thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when putting in a convection microwave. Thanks for watching.